All right, welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. My name is George Wright the Third with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. Today we're going to be talking about shifting to an abundant set of thinking, an abundant mindset, and it's a common common topic that we have on the podcast. But the reason it is is because it is a constant reminder to do something that I think many of us forget to do. And that is we get caught up in everything going on in the world and we forget about the fact that if we're going to create our life, we've got to create an abundance mindset. So let me start you off with the quote of the day. The quote of the day today is, in the Daily Mastermind mobile app, a hunch is creativity trying to tell you something. Ah, That's a great quote. A hunch is creativity trying to tell you something. I think many of us have stopped listening to our hunches, our gut, our heart, our purpose. Um, and I think we, we are because we're getting so used to listening to everything else around us. And this leads really, really well into our whole message and our whole theme this week of I always think win-win. Because having abundant mindset, thinking abundantly, thinking about solutions rather than the problems is something that people are having a tough time with right now. And the reason is because they're overwhelmed. There's a lot of things going on in the world. Now, some people, if you're around abundant thinkers like I am, people are always coming up with solutions and things like that. But when you're driving hard and creating and leveling up in your business, you also are faced with more challenges. And so I think it's always good to come back to this topic of a shift from scarcity to abundance because I think it helps you to recognize what your thought patterns are And it helps you to strategize and game plan on how to go from there. So what I did is I jotted down just a a short list of solutions, you know, ideas and strategies that I use when I feel like I need to shift from my current thinking to more abundant thinking. And before I go through those, I just want to kind of mention to you, it is very, very critical that you become aware of the type of thoughts you have. So it's it's important that sometimes you take a little inventory of your thoughts because a lot of times we don't recognize or realize that we very quickly have developed patterns of going towards problem solving instead of finding solutions or we've gone towards identifying issues rather than recognizing and celebrating the wins. And so we, it, there's subtle changes, and you have to really be conscious of this. So I listed out, I think I got about seven strategies that I think you can do to shift yourself from scarcity to abundance. And the first strategy I have is focus on what you have. You know, happiness is, having what you, is wanting what you have, not, not having what you want. And so you have to focus on what you have, and that, that comes back to recognizing what you have. So many of us are pushing and looking towards the future that it robs us of the joy of the present. And you need to sometimes take an inventory of your health and your relationships and your opportunities and your awareness and things that you have. Focus on what you have, because when you focus on what you have, what you have will grow. What you focus on grows. The second strategy that I think you can kind of do that really helps those of you that are struggling is second, surround yourself with people that have an abundant mindset. See, sometimes we get around people that are motivational and we think that's an abundant mindset. That's not an abundant mindset. An abundant mindset is someone who celebrates wins of other people. It's someone who constantly is optimistic about solving problems rather than the first to identify the problem, but always somebody there to try to solve it. You want to surround yourself with abundant thinkers. And the way you do that is you just get out there. Now, I know that many of you have trouble doing that, but I I tell you what, if you could get into some conversations on Facebook, or if you can find some meetup groups, or networking, or sometimes you just, you need to surround yourself with abundant thinking, excuse me, by listening to YouTube videos rather than listening to the radio or listening to positive podcasts rather than listening to, um, you know, TikTok uh, or, or things like that. Or make sure that the channels or the people that you're following are positive, abundant thinkers. Because you want to have people that are positive, happy, passionate about what they do. So surround yourself with those abundant thinkers. The third idea is you've got to remind yourself to start from solution. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. Whenever you hit a task... <coughs> a task, a challenge, an opportunity, 
You notice I didn't say problem, I said opportunity. You've got to start and tell yourself that. I'm gonna start by finding all the solutions I can to this, because there'll be plenty of time to go back and to identify why the problem happened and, and, and solve it from happening in the future. But you'll get caught up in that if you don't start from solutions. So what do we have so far? Focus on what you have, surround yourself with abundant thinkers, and start from solution. The fourth thing, and this is one that you are going to hear over and over and over, is gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. I know that we all want to try to have this attitude of gratitude, but having a practice of gratitude is even more powerful. <clears throat> How many of you have written down things you're grateful for day after day after day? That's part of one of the rituals I have in my journal. Besides one of the other things I'm going to suggest to you in a minute, it's writing down the things I'm grateful for. You know, I had this exercise I did one time. I think I, think I was listening to an Ed Milet um, podcast, but he talked about writing down every single thing you're grateful for. And I'm telling you right now, if you can't do that to the tune of hundreds of things, because quite frankly, you should be able to write down a list of hundreds and hundreds of items. And if you can't, then you're not aware of what you're grateful for, and you're not grateful for what you have. I mean, if you start thinking about it, and I did this practice, and, and over the course of several weeks, it took me a little time, but I, I was able to come up with a ton. Because some of the smallest things in life, and you know this as you get older, the little things become the big things, right? But some of the, the smallest things in life, you need to learn to recognize to be grateful for, and this will help you to shift into an abundant mindset. So gratitude, that's a huge one. Another one, number five I, writ, I wrote down, was uh, a meditation practice or a mindfulness practice. Um, I'm a big fan of mindfulness. In fact, I would recommend to you if you haven't downloaded an app on your phone, I have actually both the Calm uh, meditation app and I have one that I downloaded just recently that I'm a huge fan of by Sam Harris called Waking Up. That, that uh, meditation or mindfulness practice app, I really love because it does some mindfulness meditation, but it also does a little theory. And when I say theory, don't let that scare you off. Every morning I listen to like two minutes to five minutes of this theory, which is just a discussion about your thoughts and your awareness and what you value and how you see life, things that get your brain thinking, and then a short, you know, five to 10 minute meditation. But I would really recommend a mindfulness practice or a meditation practice of some kind because what that does is it trains your mind, it trains your brain, it trains your thinking to shift towards awareness and shift towards abundance. And that's a huge, huge piece of um, shifting to an abundant mindset. Number six, I think this is a great one. You've got to track your wins. How many of you, when you journal, write down this big ordeal I went through or write down, you know, the, the, the major things in your life and they're more often negative than positive? Or how many of you write down your wins? Because there's always a win every day. The very fact that you're listening to this podcast or you're getting up in the morning or you're going to work out or you're making progress, don't, as entrepreneurs and investors, sometimes we judge our wins too harshly because we're not satisfied with where we're at. But you have to recognize and celebrate the little wins. If you don't do that, you're not going to have the big wins. So I highly encourage you to track your wins in a, in a daily basis. So what I do when I, when I do my journaling is I start off with listing three or four things I'm grateful for. I list several things that I feel like I accomplished or won the day with. And sometimes just doing these daily rituals is a win. You've got to write that down. Then I'll generally put down a memory or two, and then I might work through or write through a challenge or something I'm doing because I, I feel like writing helps me to do that. But I always try to capture memories, capture gratitude, and capture wins. And when you do that, what you're doing is you're training your mind. You're training your mind to see the positive, to see the, the success, to see the celebrations. And when you train your mind to see that, that's what you're going to see. So tracking your wins is so huge. I can't recommend it enough. And then the last one, which is an obvious one, is daily affirmations. Now, if you don't have daily affirmations and you want to just take the prosperity pillars and start with that, where you're repeating, I create my life, I take responsibility, I act in spite of my mood, I surround myself with positive people and things like that, you're there again, you're training your brain. But I would recommend you go a step further and you create those I am statements. I am this, I am that, I have accomplished this. 
Um, because when you do that and you start to see yourself, because people see you how you see yourself. And the more you can visualize and manifest the best version of yourself, and you can create that clarity in your mind through affirmations, the more confident you're going to be, the more self-esteem you're going to have, the more positive you'll be, the more abundant thinking you'll be. And so affirmations are these I am statements, and you can jump on Google and, and find some good ones or find some strategies on how to do that or pull out Think and Grow Rich and learn a little bit more about how to write those affirmations and those I am statements. But positive affirmations are a way to train your brain. So let's review this real quick. In order to give you some strategies to shift from any kind of scarcity to abundant mindset, I recommend focusing on what you have, surrounding yourself with people that are abundant, abundant thinkers, um, starting from solution, gratitude practice, uh, meditation, mindfulness practice, tracking your wins, and creating and constantly repeating your daily affirmations. Those are the things that I encourage you to try, and you don't have to try them all. You can try out just a few of them, but I want to challenge you to try to come up with at least one or two strategies that you feel, whether you feel you're an abundant thinker or not, will help you to train your mind to be even more abundant. I challenge you to pick one or two of those things and try to do them day after day for weeks and see what you can do to create some new habits. Anyway, that's my message for today. I really look forward to talking with you tomorrow. We've got some great messages along the prosperity pillar of thinking win-win. And um, if you've learned something today, share this podcast. Do me a favor and share it on Facebook or Instagram. And hit us up. Let us know what you're struggling with. Let us know what you're accomplishing. Let us help you celebrate your wins. And you're welcome to contact me directly at my email address as well, george at g3worldwide.com, g, the number three, worldwide.com. I want to hear from you. And I'd love to help you. I'd love to um, continue to challenge you and help you to create the best mindset and the best version of yourself out there. Um, That's the message for today. So have an amazing day, and we'll see you tomorrow.